Hello, people of God. I am Sheree Denise, and if you're new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. God loves you. Jesus died for you, okay? He died for you, and he wants your heart. He wants to do life with you, so do life with Jesus. He changed my life, and I'm about to tell you a little bit about that, but let's first read 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. I pray this word goes forth for who it is intended for. Listen, I know for a fact that the Lord waited for me. Because growing up in a household where the Bible was in front of us, where we were praying, we were watching people be delivered, like I'm talking about exorcisms happening, right? I strayed, like most of us do. I strayed because I wanted, I wasn't ready. I wanted to do life my way. And I just knew that, you know, God was patient. And I took advantage of that, okay? I took advantage of how much the Lord loved me. And I took advantage of him waiting for me to fall in line to walk that narrow path right the gate is small the path is narrow and few people choose it i choose it okay lord i'm right here at the gate it's narrow i'm, I'm there i don't want to do life my own way because listen it doesn't work i tried it over and over and over and over again and it does not work whatever it is i was chasing for out there in the world it, it's temporary temporary fixes right I know for a fact that Jesus came on in, he called me. And at that moment I listened and I said, Lord, I don't wanna do this without you. This is whack, like this is not it. Living life without you, Jesus has been horrible. In the surface, it looks okay, but it's not, okay? So the Lord waited for me. That was about a good 12 years where I was doing what I wanted to do. Listen to me, I don't beat myself up about it. It is what it is. I did what I did. The Lord now has my heart, my mind, my soul, and I love him dearly for it. I love him for coming to get me because it was a, a wreck. I was a hot mess. And I know that God's word is true. His promises come to pass. Okay, even though we try to be women and men of our word, God is the word. You feel me? Like God's word will come to pass. Whatever the Lord has promised you, it will happen. It will happen. So when we learn how to operate in long suffering, patience, gentleness, kindness, when we learn how to walk in the fruit of the spirit, for us, what seems like it's taking forever, that won't be the case any longer because you are pressing into the Lord and you are now on his clock. You are dancing and walking and talking and living to the beat of his drum. You feel what I'm saying? It says, with the Lord one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as one day. I'm 35 years old. One hour hasn't even passed with the Lord if you do your math. When it comes to my life. So when I think of it that way, I got time. <laughs> when I think of it that way, I got time to wait on the Lord. If he waited for me to get right, oh my goodness. He waited for me 12 years to be like, Sheree, are you done yet? Because here I am. But let me tell you, do not take advantage of his grace and his mercy. Do not take advantage of it because you know the Lord is, is, is long suffering. You know the Lord waits for those he has called. Do not take advantage of the Lord's grace and mercy. If he has been knocking, answer the door and then learn how to wait on his promises because he's not slack. God is always on time, okay? <laughs> always. All right, I'm done. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with like four or five people. And until next time, peace, love, praise, God bless.